Hello everyone. Super excited tonight. It's uh, Sunday, 4th of December. I think there's just been some football match on, which I'm not really interested at all. Being a Welsh man in England, <laughs> who doesn't do field sports. So uh, no surprise then, there's not many people at all on the beach tonight. There's me and one of the guys, as far as I can see up there. Uh, as usual, uh, as the last few trips, I'm at the ferry bridge end. Uh, I'm actually bang in front of the landing craft tonight. So uh, I've only actually fished here once or twice before. But uh, thought I'd come and give it a go. There's a moderate and northeasterly wind, which is quite chilly. Tiny bit of rain in the air here and there. Nothing to speak about at all, really. No, that's pretty much dried up. It was more on the way down it was doing that. But Yeah, so uh, I'm all out for an eel tonight. It's nine o'clock. As I say, oh no, coming off at 10 o'clock now, actually. Uh, I think low water was about half nine. So we just missed slack water, but uh, again, as usual, haven't got any fresh worm with me kind of a last minute thing to come tonight I sort of um, resign myself to the fact that I might not be getting out again before Christmas but uh saw this little window tonight managed to sneak out I'm going all out for an eel I want to get <laughs> try and get a decent eel so I've got a bit of black lug but um See if we can get us a wriggler tonight. So I'm going big fish baits. Uh, I've got a little bit of squid, uh, so a bit of black lug. High waters around, uh, what is it, about four o'clock, something like that. Uh, about four o'clock, so uh, as usual, just gonna see how the night goes, really. I need to be home for morning, so uh, we'll just play it by ear. I haven't even put the shelter up yet, I've just got you. I just want to get one out and in the water. Then I'm going to get the shelter up the rest of the tackle when we go. And I'll get back to you. Catch you in a minute. Someone's having a go, probably a dogfish. It's a big old bait, so I'm just going to give it a minute. Too small for those big hooks, I reckon, but we'll have a look anyway.
First cast of the night then. <laughs> I wish that was on the carp rod, bloody hell. So here we are then, I'm keeping the big, big fish baits going then after that eel. I still haven't got the carp rods out yet. I'm just gonna get this beach rod back out first. So yeah, we're going for a, a quarter of a mackerel, basically. Hooks I'm using are Foro uh, Sakuma Manta Extras. Which I've just had to change because that last conga just did that to that one. There we are. Not ridiculously massive, but big enough. So first chuck then, well basically la last week I had loads of problems when I was uh, when I was filming my last video. I just didn't have enough room on my phone and it kept not recording because my phone had no memory left and because I do it all on my iPhone. So anyway, I sorted all that out, emptied a load of stuff with it, made loads and loads of space. First lob, just had that big conger on the, uh, well I say big as a double figure, but uh, on the beach rod. I'm glad you'll see a bit of it. but. Uh, yeah, I brought it over and I did the whole weighing it thing and I realised just after I put it back and I went back to look at it just to check it was on there and it hadn't recorded any of it. I don't know why. But at least you caught a glimpse of it. So uh, it was on the first cast on the beach rod and it was £11. So uh, I'm glad it wasn't on the carp rod in a way, otherwise I'd be kicking myself if it was £11. Yeah, it was just a little tap, tap, tap bite like that. It was a... I don't know if it got on the camera actually, but I said, oh, you know, I think that's probably just a dogfish or something. I'll, I'll give it a minute because it's probably not big enough to get the hooks in its mouth. Yeah, no, 11 pound eel. So a good start, but uh, I've just got the two carp rods out now. Say so fish base and everything. I've got a mixture of uh, squid, whiting and mackerel and all three rods. Every now and again, it's uh, when you're in the shelter, it's not too bad. But every now and again, when I go out to wind in or whatever, that wind gets you and it's pretty nippy. So what am I doing here tonight? Well, it's all Alan's fault. <laughs> uh, Alan on AT fishing, I mess messaged him the other day. I think in response to one of his videos and uh, I just said to him, oh, I think I'm gonna pack the carp rods up for the winter now because uh, that was after I was fishing here the other day in the, in the big swell and it was horrible and, and I was thinking, God, I wish I just brought my beach rods with me. And he said, don't give up yet, there's still a chance. Because I gave myself till Christmas day to catch a 12 pound, car, um, 12 pound conga and a six pound cod on a carp rod. And as I said before, it's not happening. And after that swell the other day, I thought, yeah, this time of year, it's not, not much good really for this sort of thing. But tonight's okay. It's all right. The swell's died right down. The rod tips are bouncing around a bit in the wind where it's coming over the bank. But uh, yeah, that conga would have been good fun on a carp rod then. But yeah, cheers Al for spurring me on. Your videos are great, by the way. I love them. Don't get too upset everyone, I'm not cooking anything tonight. <laughs> and a massive Sunday lunch where I came out. So, uh, nah, just a couple of Kit Kats and a drink in the box tonight. Focusing on the fishing. Don't know how long I'm gonna be here. I say high waters, uh, high waters, 5 a.m. So, uh, was it 5 a.m. or 4 a.m.? 4 a.m. actually, I think. I'll have to recheck that. It's early in the morning anyway. I've got to be honest, throughout my life, every now and again when I fish these uh, early morning sessions, they're never really as productive as they are just going into darkness. I always find high or low tide, I touch them, high or low tide just around darkness, 
and for the few hours after are better than than the wee, wee small hours of the morning. You might think otherwise, I'm just saying this is what I find, so uh, I'm just getting my excuses out there. I've got a, a wrapper black lug as well. Uh, I am primarily after reels tonight, but when the tide does start running, not that there's going to be much of that tonight either because it's, uh, it's quite a small tide, but uh, we'll, put a, we'll put a couple of casts out for a cod. I think they've died off a little bit, but uh, got to give it a crack. Just brought the beet rod in to freshen it up and the uh, bait came back pretty much untouched. It's been out there half hour or so. Never a good sign. Well, we'll keep going though. No more bites as yet. I hope it's not one of those nights where you have a good fish on the first cast and then like nothing. Uh. One respectable eel and a couple of boot laces. That's it so far. It's been pretty slow. As soon as I get a couple of bites and think, oh, the fish are going to start now, it uh, just sort of fizzles out again. There's no pouting, whiting, anything like that at all. Quite often the baits are coming back pretty much untouched. There's uh, not a great deal going on. Two hours to high water. So I'm going to I'm going to stick it out a bit longer because as the, water, as the tide slackens off, I might, might get another reel or two then. Well, if you got this far, thank you very much. <laughs> oh God, I've had enough now. I'm going home. It's really quiet. There's just nothing happening. Very, very quiet. So, and very, very cold. <laughs> very, very early in the morning. So I'm going to go home. If anything gets pulled in on the last cast, then, uh, then I'll show you, but uh, otherwise, probably in the new year now, I would have thought. Um, I'm a busy boy over Christmas, like a lot of people, so uh, this might be the last one until then. If I don't catch you again, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you very much to everyone who's liked and subscribed, and uh, catch you next time. Cheers, all.